हेलो एवरी वन सो दिस वीडियो इज़ ऑल अबाउट वट एग्जैक्टली हैपन इन पी एच डी लाइक इन द फर्स्ट फ्यू मंथ्स ऑफ पी एच डी लाइक ड्यूरिंग आर मास्टर्स एंड एवरी थिंग वी आर मोस्टली बिजी इन राइटिंग दोज एग्जाम सी एस आई एजुकेट एंड वट्सो एवर एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर वर्ड हाउ टू गेट इन वेदर इंटरव्यू विल गो वेल और नॉट एंड देन मैनी ऑफ यू माइट बी वंडरिंग लाइक इन इंटरनेट देर आर नॉट मैनी वीडियोज विच एग्जैक्टली एक्सप्लेन यू नो क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर ऑफ थिंग्स हाउ दे take place so if you are uh, someone expecting a lot of visuals um i'm afraid this video is not for you yeah let's get into the stuff so i joined the phd here on uh, 1st january this year so the last day of phd admission was 31st december but i was very confused as in where to join uh, because i had a couple of options and i didn't know where to join like when it come to decisions i'm very i'm a very confused soul like, i think a lot and i you know weigh a lot i feel if i choose one option over other i might miss on one point but we need to be very clear that if you are choosing one option there will be some goods and some bads coming up with them since we are discussing that there is a very funny incident about my decision making uh, you know skills so on 31st december like after thinking for so many days like for 10 20 days i finally decided that i will not be joining uh, phd here in aizer so finally i went to my uh, perspective guide and i told him sir uh, i got into that place and i will be joining there i'm i'm really sorry sorry that i you know i took up this one and now i'm leaving it was 31st december then the whole night i felt no 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 if i didn't take this i will miss on something so next day like i could not sleep the whole night next day what i did was i directly went to academic office and i got all the formalities done for the admission in nizer only and in the evening i went to my guide and i told him sir i have taken admission here only uh, like do you think i am capable enough you know to join your lab so he was confused you know he was like yesterday only you were saying that you will not be joining here and now you are so saying that you are joined here what is it um, and next day he even sent me a mail uh, telling me like how confused i was in every step of my you know uh, procedure and i have not replied that mail even now because i know like, i have taken so many abrupt decisions which no one expects at so many points in my life but i just hope i stick to this decision of mine for as long as possible so once you join in here the next you will get your id you will need to submit your documents for getting an identity card and uh, that is done during admission uh, document verification itself then you will have to choose your courses like you will get one two days like, since i joined late one day late i was so i had to choose my, my courses like which all courses i will be taking during that term so most of us we think that uh, we have to give these exams and everything only till masters and in phd all will be doing is working in lab and not writing any exams is not true once you come you are supposed to get 16 credits and for that you need to take at least 6 courses and that is very department specific the number of courses so in some of the departments they even have to take up to 6 courses so you have to finish these courses in uh, biological sciences within one year so what people usually do is some of us like the phd um, batch my batch they took all of the courses at once so that later they can completely focus on their lab work and some of us we took you know half and half like two courses we took in this term and two courses will be taking in the next term so i took two i i basically took three courses but since there was one clash happening for the time slots and everything so i dropped one course and these courses you will be attending with the bsms people four fifth year people you will be sitting with them and then you know you will be attending the course with them you will give exams and everything with them but your evaluation will be separate their evaluation will be separate so that was all about course work and while choosing course work like there are different criteria which people follow some people take up the courses which are highly scoring you know for getting you know for for becoming eligible for pmrf later on some people they take the courses which are helpful for them in you know doing their lab work for instance i choose biostats and bioinformatics both of them are related to my work so i chose those subjects uh even the result have been declared now uh, for both this courses so 
you have a lot of quizzes then you have mid sem then again you have quizzes then for some of the courses you will have presentation or projects and finally you will have your end sem examination and you will be done with your course the courses are not very difficult to be taken but with every professor the teaching style is very different for example biostats it was a completely open book exam and uh, a lot of things were covered and you were allowed to use chat gpt and you were allowed to use uh, uh, user books same happened something similar happened in the uh, in some another department where they were given an exam and they were given 16 hours to you know complete that exam they can go in between uh, the exam and have their food and uh, chill and talk you know that kind of exam so yeah those things keep happening after that other thing which i really liked about the campus there is always something which is happening in the campus some sports event then uh, some fest some celebration some festival celebration so uh, there is nothing specially designed for phd student but yeah whatever is happening in the uh, you know campus you can just directly go and enjoy yourself there is no fresher like masters or you know bachelors like we used to have okay we will get freshers and so don't expect that so once uh, the coursework is done then the first uh, and one more thing they will have a lot of scientific talks from different fields like physics chemistry biology and then you can just go and attend the talks if you are interested in a particular topic a lot of you know you know big big people big short people they will be coming giving these talks so yeah that is a that is one good thing but i have not yet started you know going there and attending those and you know listening to those talks but i feel i should work on that because it is very helpful in the long run then how much is required before joining any lab like how much knowledge is required how much experience is required some of you may okay i am from this is background i have not done any internship or dissertation or any lab work will it impact me getting into phd and me surviving the phd so uh, get it very clear that you are not expected to know everything when you join a phd because once you join here in the first 6 to 12 months like first one year you will be trained by some of your senior or you know guide himself and you will be trained in all the techniques and tools which have which which has been you know uh, used in your lab and you will get ample time to read a lot of you know papers related to the work which your lab is doing and one more thing even the people who have experience like when you change one lab from another lab you need to again brush up everything because with every lab things changes a bit and it takes time to adjust that but you should not worry like in 6 7 months you will be like knowing all of the techniques and tools whatever is being used in the lab and there is no pressure on you to you know decide the topic you know just when you you know join like during our interview and everything we give one statement of purpose yeah that is a good initiative but you usually don't end up working on the same sop which you have written for your um, you know interview thing usually you do the work which is you know going on in the lab and you take up a similar project and then you give it a start so uh, what i did was i was attending classes like i used to have this two course as i told already so yeah, i used to attend classes in the rest of the time i used to go to lab and i used to work under one of the senior i used to you know help him doing some work and in the uh, in the whole process i was learning thing yeah this was all about the lab also so how much you are expected to stay in the lab yeah that totally depends on your lab like some in some labs there will be people who will be staying till late night and working in some labs there are time limits like okay till 8 o'clock you are allowed in lab after that you can't stay without any uh, senior staying in the lab so that to- that is totally lab specific but usually these rules and regulations are not very strict you are not expected to stay all night you are not expected to stay late but yes Uh, people expect you to be in the lab uh, during at least during the working hours. even though officially saturdays and sundays they are off but i have seen here that people uh, phd people they usually go to labs even on the sundays what i used to think is that i will be working five days a week and then i will be taking off two days uh, but you know when you see people going there you you also you know feel like going and you know learning more so that is your personal choice whether you want to go on saturday and sunday and whether you want to take an off in between so that is totally up to you in coming to 
you know how many number of leaves you can take so in the whole year whole academic year you can take 30 leaves uh, they will be like your paid leaves now coming since i'm mentioning the paid one so yes once you come here your bank details will be taken and other informations will be taken taken and then your fellowship will be activated if you will be gate fellow that is institute fellow you can expect your fellowship within one month of you getting into phd and if you are like external fellow like you have your own fellowship grf like ugc csr so you have to wait for 3 to 4 months since uh, till the time it get activated um talking about fellowship activation i have not yet activated my uh, fellowship till now i am just you know um uh, working without money and i'm you know spending my own money till now so yeah the, like i procrastinate a lot and every every other week i feel like okay i now i will go to academic office and i will submit my details and i will get it activated but that day is not coming it's been 5 months and i have not activated it till now i have not even given the documents but yes this monday i will definitely go or maybe somewhere deep down in my head i feel like what if i run you know after you know activating my fellowship so i maybe i'm you know i'm testing myself whether i'm join i have joined this phd for money or whether i really wanted it so as the time is passing my head is getting more clearer and i feel like staying you know on to my decision so yes i will activate it soon then uh, coming to other things so during this 5 6 months you get to know about your classmate work what work they are doing you do a lot of networking between them because ultimately they will be also staying in the campus till the time you will be here like 5 6 years so you will be here so people they bond they connect and they talk they become friends all of that is also happening in the background but since i'm not a very social person like when it comes to a group setting i become very conscious and i feel Uh, yeah i just stay silent and i just listen to them and even when listening like i don't know what kind of person i am but i don't know the names also till now their names also till now but i know all of them but i get confused in their names and their labs but slowly i'm getting to know things i'm very bad with you know knowing people and letting them know me so yeah that was all so yes like as such you are not doing any research in your first 6 months you are not doing any substantial things but you are learning you are gaining skills which will be you know helpful throughout your phd journey and in this 6 month you will be lucky enough you will get to talk to your guide regarding your you know research topic what topic will be working on and uh, maybe a more of guidance sort of thing so every guide have a different way of treating you regarding accommodation as soon as you come here you are allocated a room and rooms are usually on a sharing basis two people stay in a same room uh, for at least one year and your hra will be deducted uh, that 6 7000 whatever amount is there it will be deducted if you are availing hostel facilities but if you are staying out you can uh, you know apply for your hra also there are a few people who are staying outside also but so far i feel hostel is also doable and i am not someone who like to live alone i really like it if i share my room with someone at least there is someone when you when you come late at night at least there will be someone and you will not be you know stuck in a box you will not feel like that okay you are locked in a box so it is always good to have someone in your room and i receive all of your mails i read it and sometime what happen is my exams are going on some exam some presentations are going on so when i read your mails i feel a, i i get a lot of motivation of you know a uh, creating video but i always procrastinate i feel i will get a better mic i will get a better camera i will have a good you know lighting system and then only i will create a video on such topic sometimes i feel i will start teaching this whatever skill i have i will start teaching that then i you know back off again then i procrastinate again but once i read your mail i feel okay yes, somehow i am helping someone like who is just as much confused i was that time so yeah i hope all of you get into multiple places when you attend your phd interviews and you also face the same problem of you know uh taking a right decision so yeah keep sending me mails whatever you want to know i will be more than grateful to you know and if i can be any help i will be more than grateful.